This video is sponsored by Sony Handycam. Alright folks, you have seen the first part of the GeForce GTX 960 review where we unbox and take a first look at the GPU itself. Now, on to the second part of the review. I'm going to perform some tests on the graphics card itself, which is on my very um, humble PC, as you have seen on the first part. I have a Core 5 PC, a 2-year-old two, a generation uh, uh, Ivy Bridge processor, 8GB of RAM, a, a normal Intel Z77 GB motherboard. So it's not exactly the top of the range PC, which I believe that most gamers, uh, most mid-range gamers will actually have uh, this kind of specs and would like to purchase the G1 Gaming GeForce GTX 960 from Gigabyte. Alright, so I'm going to test a few games right here, but just to let you know, I'm not a person who likes to play MMORPG games. I prefer racing games, adventure games, as well as some little um, FPS games right here. Alright, so now I have my PC right here. The monitor that I'm using is the Dell S2440L monitor. It's a really nice IPS display that supports up to full HD resolution, not 4K unfortunately. However, I'm going to demonstrate how NVIDIA's latest Maxwell GPU is able to make 4K uh, video resolution kind of like downscale or upscales the resolution of the picture up to uh, UHD 4K resolution. So let's take a look at the few games that I have in mind right here to show you and I'm going to show you the FPS counter on top here as well. So let's get to it. Alright folks, this is the first game that we are going to test. This is Great Auto Sport, which many racing fans will come to love because this is one of the best racing games with one of the best realistic graphics on the PC platform. So before we start with the game, let's check out the graphics settings in the options. So let's go into options and extra and let's get into options and go into, uh, sorry not gameplay, but I need to go to graphics. There we go. Alright, so let's check out some of the advanced quality uh, settings in the game. So as you have noticed, I've actually configured most of the settings to be high because this is not a flagship graphics card so I can't turn on everything to ultra that would actually cause uh, unplayable gaming experience. So some of the things I've actually turned on to ultra because I think that is not going to cause a lot of stress to the graphics card. For example, vehicle details is at ultra, track is also at ultra, and vehicle reflections is at ultra. The reason why I actually configured these three to be ultra is because I like my car to look the nicest as possible and the track. I always race on the track, I don't look at the surroundings, so definitely I will need the road to look as nice as possible. So next, let's go back and take a look at the resolution that we're in. Alright, so if I go into video mode, notice that the Dell S2440L monitor right here is actually a Full HD monitor, but with the GeForce GTX 960, which is uh, based on the second generation Maxwell, I can actually enable DSR, which is called Dynamic Super Resolution, that actually uh, gives me a 4K 4K resolution quality on a full HD display. It kind of downs, kind of upscale my full HD display to a 4K monitor. And I actually realized that there's a little bit of difference in terms of graphics, in terms of details. My car actually look more high resolution than it is on full HD. I mean, you can't really see it clear on the camera, but if you're in front of my display, you will definitely realize the difference. All right, so the next thing is, I'm gonna start off with, the, with a game right now. Let's go back and let's create a custom car and let's just press done let's choose any car i like a bmw let's go and it's loading right now so notice the frame is on the top is now at 50 47 frames per second it's just increasing and decreasing at the same time all right so you you get you get the picture of what is the average fps as well as the maximum average that you are, fps that you are getting and also the minimum one as well so Let's wait for the game to start. It's going to load uh, a little bit slow because I did not load it into my SSD. It's on my uh, 7200 RPM hard drive. But yeah, now it loads. And there you go. Look at the graphics. It's really awesome. You got to really see it in front uh, of my screen itself. But I'm going to just record this video to let you see how it really looks like in terms of gameplay. And of course, the frame rate. So now it's at 48 frames per second. I'm going to start the game. And now it's at 32, 30 frames per second. Okay, let me raise the game while you take note of the FPS counter on top. I'm going to play this game for a few seconds and I'm going to quit the game and make a conclusion. Look at the graphics, it's so beautiful. It's nighttime as if you are at a real circuit racing a car. Alright, let's break. There's a lot of cars moving on. Alright, okay, I've knocked into a car. That's not good. I'm a pretty bad driver, but then this game is not easy to manage if you have tried on. Uh, the racing mode, it doesn't have a lot of controls and there you go Alright, so I actually noticed that it hits a maximum FPS of 
43 FPS which is pretty good and it maintains around 40 frames per second which is pretty reasonable 38 37 so as you can see it has the GTX 960 managed to maintain a playable frame rate despite of its uh, lower clock speed than the GTX 980 and it's on DSR which means it's now running at 4K resolution which you should expect the similar experience on a real 4K monitor. We will verify that when we get ourselves a 4K monitor in the next few parts of the video and yeah that's pretty much on the game, the great old sport on my very humble system that only runs on the core i5 processor with 8 gigabytes of ram it's not a top of the range model and that looks awesome all right i've not into some cars i'm going to pause the game right now so there you go folks um i think the minimum frame rate you get you get the picture you get to know what is the minimum the average and the maximum frame rates that great auto spot is able to run on the gtx 960 on a 4k resolution dsr as well as some high and ultra graphic settings on board so let's get on to the second game that i'm going to show you today Moving on folks, we are on Far Cry 4. This is a really graphics demanding game that has been used in benchmarks all the time. Alright, so currently I'm at full HD resolution and we can still go up to DSR which is the, the upscale resolution of uh, 4K resolution on my screen but I'm not going to do that because I tested earlier and my game crashed. I'm not sure why and it's really choppy as well. So I'm not going to go on that, go to that resolution but let me show you the graphics setting as of now. Right, let's go into code graphics quality and as you can see most of the most of the graphics setting here i left it on at high and there are a few gameworks effect right here gameworks is actually a special effect from nvidia all right uh such as amb ambient occlusion as you can see there's uh there's a picture over there that says that it's enabled by nvidia gameworks it has anti-aliasing is on TXA4 which is uh, on multi multi frame uh anti-aliasing as well god rays enhance and even uh fur uh, for as well is all on gameworks so we should be expecting some really awesome graphics right here so currently the frame rate is at 60 frames per second because i'm on the menu so let's move on to continue to our, our mission let's resume okay there you go i actually just started on the game so you'll forgive me for a while and you'll just take a look at the frame rates that is on so it's 31 frames per second which is quite good for full hd uh, for full hd gaming so i'm getting into the car i'm going to start shooting All right there you go so you might not notice any uh graphics uh nice graphics quality on the camera here because there isn't really some uh, impressive graphics unless you get near to the grass and overall gameplay is quite smooth the minimum frame rate that i'm seeing right here i think is 26 frames per second um it's 35 right now all right so i'm gonna do some shoot right now okay you guys enjoy the game while i concentrate on shooting all right all right let's shoot 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 Okay, I know I'm really a bad shooter, but then let's do this. Let's do this, people. Okay, let's shoot again. Gameplay is really smooth. Explosion looks really real. And look at it, I'm being knocked down. Ah, uh, that's pretty sad. Oh, there we go. Blackout. And now the game loads. And it saves. There you go, we are back. And here we should be able to see some awesome graphics quality because we have trees and so on, so it's pretty much enabled by Gameworks. Sorry, that's my phone ringing and... Wow, look at that, I can actually see the grass looking so realistic already, though it's, it's still very blurred, the vision is still very blurred, but you can actually see that the graphical setting, the graphics is really, really beautiful on screen. Alright, so currently the frame rate is at 44 frames per second, so which means the game is very much playable in high graphics settings on a full HD resolution. So it can't play well in 4K, but full HD is fine. So gamers who have a full HD display, you don't need to worry about upgrading your screen to a higher resolution one. Alright, so there you go. If you look at the effects, it looks so real. Let me just go near to a grass. Look at that grass quality. I'm just going to zoom in a little. Look at it. It's so detailed thanks to MFAA and also Gameworks. The plants look so realistic in the game. 
All right, so this is pretty much uh, a demo of Far Cry 4 on the GTX 960 G1 Gaming, and we are going to move on to our final game of the test before I get killed by someone. All right, that's still fundamentals. I'm going to stop the game right now and move on to our next game. All right, and finally, now we are at Tomb Raider, our final game for today. So as you can see, the frame rates are actually very choppy. The frame rate counter is saying that it's running on 11 frames per second at this point of time. And that's because I've actually enabled DSR, which is now on 4K resolution. And that actually proves one thing, that the memory interface of 128-bit is not sufficient for powering most games in 4K resolution, as well as the memory is pretty limited at 2 gigabytes GDDR5. All right, so if we take a look at advanced, everything is on ultimate and we got to configure it down to normal to take a look if the frame rate actually improves. So let's do it. So when I press on apply, the screen refreshes and we're seeing 22 frames per second right now. And it's not really a dramatic improvement, but you are getting a high resolution, but lower graphics quality. And that, that's not a good thing. So let's get back to full HD resolution and get back to the ultimate quality that it deserves. Press apply. It's refreshing, give it a moment and press yes. There you go. That's the reasonable frame rate that we are expecting at 53 frames per second in the menu. And let's go back. I'm going to start the benchmark of, uh, of Tomb Raider right now. And let's press the start benchmark button. There we go. Enjoy the benchmark and you'll actually see some impressive graphics performance on Tomb Raider. All right, so it's 24 frames per second, 27. Look at Lara Croft, she's so beautiful. All right, and I'm gonna be right back after the benchmark finishes. There we go, folks. The minimum FPS for Tomb Raider is 14.7, the maximum is 72, and the average frames per second is 38.3. So the game is pretty much playable in full HD resolution with the ultimate graphics settings. And this is from the GTX 960 from Gigabyte. All right, there you go guys. We've just finished three game tests on our machine right here and take a look at its cooling right now. So we just actually stopped gaming about uh, two minutes ago and the GPU temperature is already now 53 degrees, which means we are expecting a temperature of 65 degrees Celsius to 70 degrees Celsius when it is actually on load. And now the cooling fan is spinning at 777 rounds per minute to actually bring it down to less than 50 degrees, which I've experienced that when it's on idle, it actually keeps a very, uh, very stable temperature at 47 degrees Celsius. As you can see, it's slowly decreasing and you can actually hear a lot of noise in the background because my CPU fan is the one that's really, really noisy. But in fact, the Gigabyte GTX 960 uh, G1 Gaming is noisy at off for its fan speed at 776 rounds per minute. All right. So this has been a first look on a game test on the GeForce GTX 960 from Gigabyte and it's the G1 Gaming Edition which is overclocked and that's it for the part 2 of the review. Stay tuned for the next part where we're going to show you more features of the NVIDIA GeForce GTX 960 from Gigabyte and it is the G1 Gaming Edition. I'll see you again in our next video or in the next part of the review of the GTX 960. That's it for now.